three, two, one, action! Hey guys, what is up? It's Total Eclipse here, and today I've got a new unboxing for you. But first, I need to apologize. It's too late to apologize. I said it's too late, and I'm sorry. Whose idea was it even to do this in the dark? Oh, um, with my videos recently, I have planned to do loads over Christmas, but between working Christmas, um, theatre jobs, filming, um, filming short films, um, preparing for travelling, rehearsals, moving out of my house, um, moving in, well, back home, um, I haven't done too well with that bit yet. Um, there has just been so much going on in my life right now, I am overwhelmed. But I am almost on top of it all uh, now that it's coming, what, to halfway through January. Um, and in a couple of weeks I'm flying out to Argentina. That is why I've got this. Anyway, jumping straight in. I received this in the post today and we are going to be un... Uh, veiling it today. So as you can see, it is a gaming notebook PC. Why don't they just call it a gaming laptop? Um, so I bought this for travelling. It's much bigger than I anticipated. But you know what? Bigger's better. Except it won't fit in my rucksack and I'm going to have to get a new one now. Here we go. So we start off with the beautiful box, loving the Republic of Gamers logo. And here we have the Republic of Gamers. Uh, well, you have the logo here and also the little case. I'm going to just take this off and we will. Which way now? This way. Come on. Come on. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> here we have um, my Republic of Gamers um, laptop or gaming notebook or whatever they want to call it. I'm going to move that to the side for now and we are going to open this, yep, yeah, and it's this way. You know what, I'm going to point this out now, I've already messed this up. So this has a beautiful matte finish. And I don't know if you can see this, but I have already, like there, I'm not coming off easily, already scarred it with my finger. Look at that, that is ridiculous. Um, it's beautiful, <laughs> beautiful laptop, but I'm gonna have to like take some Dettol and uh, a microfiber cloth just to keep this neat and clean, which I will have to do because otherwise it's gonna drive me insane. Um, as you can see, it is pretty thin. If I compare this to my dad's laptop, which should be lying around here. Ching! So here's my dad's laptop. It's uh, one from work. It's a Dell. I have no idea what it is. It's quite an old one. It's quite chunky. We're going to just... Can you see the difference in size? It's almost half the size. Maybe that is half the size. That's pretty impressive. And actually, this is about a kilogram heavier than this one. Um, that would be because uh, this is mainly metal and it's probably using an outdated hard drive. But this is very lightweight. Uh, you've got a metal top, but you've also got the plastic underneath. There is space for this to be upgraded. I need to like get down here just so that you guys can see me. There is more space um, for this to be upgraded. You can do uh, RAM upgrades. People I bought it from, laptops, direct. No problems with them. Um, they sent it through really quickly, it was great. Um, looks perfect. Um, what I should note, I don't even know what these are. Um, you've got, and I may be mistaken here, we've got some USB 3.2s, uh, we've also got a Thunderbolt connection, you've got HDMI, have no idea what this is, and we've got this, like, Ethernet port, I assume it's Ethernet, yeah, it looks like it, and then you've got your power, and you also have your microphone, 
not microphone, headset in, um, cable. And here we have a uh, lock safe, which you can equip um, like special locks to so that it doesn't get stolen out of your bag. Might invest in one, in which case I will do a review on that. Um, and we've got two more 3.2 USBs and we have an SD reader which is so valuable because I've just lost mine and that's another reason why I haven't been publishing videos because I couldn't get from SD card onto my laptop, well, computer at the time. We will be video editing on this to see just how good it is. Uh, now let us open up, um, which way? So this is a 17 inch laptop screen. It is massive, it truly is. Um, again, comparing my dad's laptop. Oh, it's here. Um, we have slightly different size. Look at that, that is dwarfed. Uh, another very nice finish. Trackpad feels pretty nice. I haven't actually used it yet, but hopefully it's um, quite sensitive. I like faster mice and I don't know if you can change that on a laptop but we will have a look at that. Um, nice feedback on the on the mouse buttons and same with the with the keypad. It's not mechanical but it still does the job. And then you also have the I'm sure you can see yeah the WASD <coughs> keys highlighted. I'm not too keen on the colour that's just me. I like I like the accent colour, but I don't like the keys being that colour. Um, the keyboard, if I remember rightly, does light up. This processor is an i7 6700HQ, um, which is pretty good. I could have invested in a better CPU for, for my laptop. Unfortunately, it's a lot more money, and it really isn't worth it. Whereas this, I got a brilliant deal on. Um, January sale at the moment, I got 200 quid knocked off. I was looking at this on Amazon and it was about £1,300. Uh, I ended up getting this for £1,040. A lot of money but I'm going to be out there for two years potentially. I'm going to be video editing for vlogs because I'm going to be doing a travel channel as well as this, um, my gaming channel. And I'm also going to be doing blogging, um, photo editing, all that kind of stuff, so I need a, a good laptop, um, nothing budget orientated. I have also gone um, with the 970M GTX graphics card, which is 3 gigabytes. The um, reason I've gone for that and not the 1060, which is an extra 250 quid more, is simply because um, the, the, the drawback on this is going to be the CPU rather than the, the graphics card. I'm not going to be playing graphics intensive games such as VR games on this. Um, obviously I will when I come back home on my desktop, but this is going to be playing easy running games essentially. Along with the 970M, I've, as I mentioned, I've got 16 gigabytes of DDR4 dual channel RAM. Um, also, one terabyte hard drive. I'm going to hopefully upgrade this with an SSD. SSD? An SSD? Is that right? No, that's a memory card. SD card. SD drive. Oh, I'm having a mind fuck. Let's go with SD drive. I will write it here if I'm mistaken. Uh, I should mention it's got a built-in camera, it's also got a built-in mic. I hope. Um, I can't see a mic input, but... Um, it's going to do everything that I need it to. Like I mentioned earlier, it is very light. Only thing is, it's so wide and large. I thought this was like a... 15 inch screen. I wasn't expecting it this to be this big because I was looking at the specifications, not the dimensions. Always look at the dimensions. I'm going to have to buy a new rucksack now. Um, but that's fine, I can live with that. 
Um, so if you're looking at a laptop that's good for gaming, um, but is also lightweight, definitely consider these. I will let you know how I get on with this traveling abroad, that's the big thing. Um, other things to note with this, I have a feeling that due to these quite low rubber grommet feet, I'm going to have a slight problem with heat um, dissipating when I'm playing intensive games, but I'm not going to be doing that many. Same with uh, video editing, that's going to be quite intensive on the laptop as well. I'm looking at three to five hours of um, use before the battery dies, so fingers crossed that that happens. That's the main reason why I bought it. They said three hours if it's uh, an intensive game, uh, five hours standard um, use, which is going to be great when I'm actually on tour, in the tour bus, trying to get some work done on a blog or maybe playing around with Photoshop. I have that ability. And then, obviously, when I'm actually doing some gaming, uh, I will be plugging it into the wall and having it on a stable surface so hopefully battery life won't be a problem and nor will the heat dissipation or lack of. Anyway guys if you did like this unboxing uh, please drop a thumbs up it really is appreciated and if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe you're going to be seeing me all around the world. I'm going to try and get to some conventions this year as well for YouTubing and uh, YouTube gaming and YouTube traveling. Um, but who knows where I'm going to be. I hope you join me for the ride. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video.